This tutorial is part of the TI Inspire CX CAS Technology student course. My name is James Mott. In this session, we will see how we can use the calculator application to perform simple calculations. If we look at our keypad on our software or handheld device, we see that on the right hand side, we have the familiar operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Suppose we wish to calculate two plus three. We can type that by pressing two plus three. Now the way we get the calculator to calculate this is by pressing the enter button. We can see that we get our output on the right, which says five. Suppose we wish to calculate 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25. We can type this in by pressing zero, the decimal point button, five, negative 0 0.25. And once we're finished, we press enter. To enter fractions into CAS, above the divide button, there's a little blue fraction template. To access that, we press control and divide. For example, we can type in one half, plus, one third. And once we're finished, we press enter. If we wanted to work out powers such as five squared, we use the carrot button on the left-hand side of the keypad. If we ever make a mistake when typing something in, you can press the delete button, which is located just underneath the menu button to perform a backspace. If we want to calculate powers of negative numbers, we must use brackets to help the CAS identify where the negative sign belongs. For example, to enter negative two squared, we must tell the CAS that the negative two is being squared. So first we must enter a bracket, which is found at the bottom left of the keypad underneath the E button. We now enter negative two, to enter a negative number, we must first press the negative sign next to the enter button. Once we've typed our number, we now need to close the brackets. And now we can enter our power using the caret button on the left-hand side of the keypad. If we had put brackets around just the two rather than all of the negative two, we would get a different answer. It's a good habit to enter in brackets especially when working with negative numbers. For square roots, there is a blue square root symbol above the X squared button on the left-hand side of the keypad. To access this, press Control and X squared. We can also use the CAS to work with algebraic expressions. Suppose we want to know what 9AB subtracts 3AB simplifies to. To type this in, we can press nine times A times B, subtract three times A times B. When typing your algebraic expressions, you must put a multiply sign between any coefficients and any pronumerals. If we do not put the multiply sign between pronumerals, then the CAS will treat it as a separate pronumeral to what we want to. As we can see here, we did not put a multiplier sign between the A and the B. And so the CAS is treating that as a different pronumeral to A times B. That's all for this session. Be sure to check out the other videos in the course.